So, you grew up during the reign of King Leopold II. Tell me, how was that? Well, during his reign, it was terrible. When you went to sleep at night, you were in excruciating pain. And when you woke up in the morning, you did not want to wake up because you know you had to work the whole day. You had no break, you had no rest. You couldn't do anything. It was terrible, but I didn't know. I didn't know there was someone behind the throne. I didn't, I, we just thought it was the devil. The devil would come for some reason. We didn't know it was a person. Until they made us do atrocities. And I spoke to the people and they told me. I had to work for the king. I said, Who is the king? I've never seen this king. They took my friend. They took my friend Mensa. They took him. They said they were bringing him to the army. He was a soldier. They took him far off to another village where so he could fight the people there. They never had them fighting the people in their own village because no man can make a boy kill his mother. Not for any money, not for any gold, not for any amount of lashes they'll put on him, he will not kill his mother. Sometimes if a whole village did not want to work, he would grab all the women, the wives in the village, and they'd hold them hostage. They'd put them in chains and make them in work. And if, if they worked well, they'd get them back. But most of the time, by the time they met the quota, the wives were dead. Like I said, by the time King Leopold left, it was like there was no one in the Congo. The white man sends you to the, to the rubber tree and makes you pick it. The thing about the rubber tree that people don't understand is when you pick it from the wild, you have to puncture the tree, the tree trunk with a knife, and you take out the sap. And the only way to transport the sap from the tree back to the village is to rub it on your body. And when you rub it on your body, you cover your whole body with rubber so that when you come back, you can meet the quota. And then when you take the rubber off, it is the most excruciating pain I have ever experienced. More than the whip, more than a knife. My friends say that it was even more excruciating than when they cut off his hand. Tell us more about how King Leopold affected your people. Well, King Leopold, he ravaged our lands. I think what people were saying was that half the people in the Congo were killed during the, during the time of his reign. And I mean, I don't know how many people were in the Congo before he came. I only know how many people were in there by the time he left. And there'd be villages. You'd walk into the country and you'd see villages with nobody in them. You'd just see the burnt hands. Growing up, it was like I never knew anything better. But I would hear stories. I was wondering why I was I born during this time period when this man came to my country to my village, to my people.